Welcome to the Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know, the Olympics are coming up. I don't know when they are, but they're I, soon. I honestly didn't know that. Where is it being held at this year? Oh, God. Paris, maybe? Isn't I think Paris? Paris. Weren't they supposed to do it in Russia? I don't know in this climate. If anything's happening in Russia other than sadness. Anyway, uh, so I guess the Olympics are happening. Yeah, man. Like, Who knew? And, and it's the Summer Olympics. I mean, those are the ones I like better because they have they have Summer Olympics every year. Is that like every a four? four? So it's, they do the winter and summer every four years, but they alternate. Really? So it's every two years that we oh, have Olympics, okay. but it's summer every four, winter every four. That's why I feel like it's happening all the time. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, I like the Summer Olympics because it's like. There's a lot of co- cool events, outdoor events, you know, th- like track and field. I always enjoy that. Like, that's kind of cool to watch. Like, um, anywho, so like gymnastics, which oddly enough is a pretty entertaining thing to watch. I like, agree. Because people are ridiculously good at like doing stuff that I cannot do. I agree. So there's a really <clears throat> weird story coming out about the Japanese uh, Olympics female team. So Uh-oh. the... The captain of the team, Uh-oh. I guess they're in Morocco right now training. Monaco, not Morocco. Monaco, which I don't know where that is. It, I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> so she was caught smoking cigarettes. <gasps> no. You know, it's funny. All I think about, have you ever seen the movie Old School? No. No. So at one point in it, Vince Vaughn's doing like Olympics and he's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> he's like doing gymnast stuff. Like and he's smoking a cigarette. That's no, right. Really cool. All right. All right. Um, why are these Olympians smoking cigarettes? Uh, because they're adults who make decisions. Bad ones sometimes, good like, ones sometimes. It would just be like imagine like Usain Bolt gets done running a world record. He pulls a pack of Marlboros out his out his shorts. I'd be and, like, "Where's the? Uh, hopefully, you're getting paid for that product placement." Uh, <laughs> for sure. So I guess the point of it though is she's 19 years old, and the that in Japanese law you have to be 20 to smoke, but in America you got to be 21 now. That's a cool law. Is that true? In the U.S.? You have to be 21 to smoke cigarettes in the U.S.? Yeah, they changed that. Shut I'm, the front. I'm when not, did that happen? Uh, like, I totally believe you because it kind of makes sense. But, yeah, when did that happen? Uh, uh, I'll look it up right now. <laughs> That's crazy. Look, if it's against the law, yeah, man. Prosecutor to the full extent. <laughs> Uh, in December of 2019, shut the hell so it's up. been five years, bro. Bro, uh, that's was raised from 18 to 21, uh, all 50 states. Okay. Imagine know. being like, like your birthdays in January 20, your 18th birthday is January 2020, and you're like, I cannot wait to go buy Black and Milds. I can't wait to go buy a pack of Marlboros. And then like, and then they made you wait three more years. You gotta like be like, damn. Yeah, there's God some there's damn. some grandfathering in that happens. But anyways, but in, in um, things, so but yeah, yeah I, I totally forgot about that until this anyways. That's crazy. Um, so is that why, what, so what's, what's the punishment? She's banned, dude. She, they she's, banned the, her. she's the captain of the team. Okay. And now she can't, uh, now she can't perform. Cause and she's 19 th- and the age legal smoking age is 20. Yeah. 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 And she, Seems uh, like a lot. Huh. what'd you say? So it seems like an awful heavy-handed punishment. Yeah, well, and they it said that they have not won a medal in the gold limp, in the Olympics since 1964, so I don't think they're about to win one this year neither. That's what I'm saying. Well, but yeah. do you think that's too harsh of a crime? I Like I said, I think it's pretty heavy-handed punishment, but, you know, I'd like to say it's that Asian culture is kind of known for heavy-handed punishment, so. Like know. making an example? Like, yeah. don't be like... Whatever her name is. It's a cultural thing. So the last thing I'm going to do is tell them how to, you know, how to do what they do over there. I, I, you, if that happened to an American, we would flip. Like a lady, a lady took a, 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 a Benjamin. A, her, a sip of alcohol before she was 21. A lady took a whole Benjamin to Russia, ended up in Russian jail, and we traded like arms dealers for her. So I can only imagine. Yeah, how we would feel if somebody got kicked off the Olympic team for smoking. It this seems like a lot. It seems like a lot, but like I, I don't know. I don't know that culture. Maybe they. Know I wonder if they're gonna like take it back and let her do it. Like it's just like they're trying to prove an example of her, and then they're gonna be like, she's gonna be like crying in her room and home. And nah, like, bro, they don't usually they don't, really, they don't usually roll out like that over there, man. 
they they pretty much you know stick to it, and I kind of I kind of respect it. Honestly, Jonas, if anything, I think it's that we could learn something from that type of uh that type of heavy handed punishment. Zero tolerance punishment. Yeah, for some stuff. Like I don't like smoking cigarettes before yeah. you're twenty one. Yeah. I mean, kinda. Yeah. It would prevent kids from buying jewels. If she was, like, stealing other Olympians' clothes out of their backpacks, I figure, like, that's more of a, a th- thing than... It's not like she's serving jail time, I hope. I don't know. We don't know. You read the story. I hope she's not experiencing jail time. She just got kicked off her team. It's not like it's the end of the world. You think she's going to quit smoking? I, she probably lit she'll up as soon as she got the news. She'll, she'll be 20 by the time the next Olympics come around, so she's like, I'm good four years. That part... Dude, all because you want to smoke a big old tobacco fatty. Now, see, the thing is, is that she she potentially knew the consequences of the action. So, um, yeah, but 19 years I mean, people old who smoke crack know the consequences of their actions, too. I mean, but that, that's that's a whole nother. They're not Olympians. It's whole uh, plus crack is highly addictive and nicotine. That's not somebody, addictive. Oh, yeah. Never. Nobody. Never one time. No that. one's addicted to nicotine. Nah, dude. Not one person. You just said nicotine's like crack. You crazy. <laughs> hey. But yeah, I don't know. She's 19. So young kid. I mean, like we make stupid decisions when we're that age. You know, the consequence. I'm assuming she knew the consequences to the action because she's grew, grown up in that culture. And she obviously was trying to hide it. <laughs> or it wouldn't have just got found out. She was like in a closet smoking and like her, her dorm daddy knocked on the door and was like, what are you doing in here? And she's like, nothing, sir. I'm not smoking in the closet. I don't like the dorm, dorm, dorm daddy either. <laughs> dorm daddy. I don't like that at all. It <laughs> has some just like it feels dirty to say. But yeah, so she had been hiding it all this time. So yeah, she didn't hide it well enough this time. Do they have a duty to tell her parents? Um, you know what, man? <laughs> as far as I know is that, look, Asians are some of the biggest snitches in the world. Wow. Is that, wait, is that wrong? I don't know. Is that a stereotype? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Aren't they, though? I don't know. Like, you tell me. You're the one who said it. How do I know? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, oh, is, okay. Is they, everybody a snitch? So you're calling me right. I'm not calling you anything. Racist. Right? Jesus. <laughs> I love that. You say some racist <laughs> shit, and all I'm of a just... sudden I'm the racist. Look, Jonas, I like to I like to draw a line in the sand. Look, there's a certain thing called stereotypes, and there's a certain thing we just say, like self-preservation. If I were going to do a crime, I probably wouldn't do it with an Asian person because I think they would go to the police. And that is not a bad thing it's not a bad thing good you're lawful people congratulations you win the moral high ground or whatever the fuck the moral high ground award yeah congratulations you know but like I, you know i tend to okay, think it's well, that an asian what, would tell what, them what, what what race are you most likely to do a crime with then why don't you go that route hispanic <laughs> jesus christ i didn't think you were gonna answer. hispanic definitely probably like mm, or nigerian <laughs> <laughs> no, Nigeria. No, look, Nigerians buckle under pressure. Dude, wow. I've never even met a Nigerian before in my life. I, I and very few Asian before. people. What? I thought you worked with one before. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. They buck- I never <laughs> even met one. I thought you worked with one. That was a while ago. <laughs> they buckle under pressure. I feel like if you, as soon as you put the, the screws to a Nigerian person, they're giving up the whole operation. So Asians are snitches. Uh, Nigerians are, what are white people, Jones? You tell us. Oh, the worst. What the hell, man? <laughs> what? My hands are I'm appalled. What are you serious? Like, what? Nope, that's all the time we have today's episode. That's not all the time we have. Explain <laughs> yourself. Uh, just because we're the most oppressing. Okay, fair enough, John. Yeah. So we're the worst. What are black people then, Jones? The best. Don't you ever. I'm fucking done. I'm not going to have you spitting this white hate on our airways, all right? You are not going to do that. You're not going to do this. This is not complex. <laughs> it's not all deaf digital. All deaf digital. I don't know what else. This is. We're, I'm not Doctor Umar. <laughs> oh, you ever heard? You ever heard him? No. Don't. <laughs> oh, don't. Man. What is it? It's bad, dude. Is it like uh, Andrew Tate? But it's like uh, it's Black David Duke. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh, really? Like to it's like it's, it's it's like the uh, it's like the the giant. It's like the Black Clan. 
very close, very close. Now he, d- 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 mm, I, I, look, man, I'm not gonna get that man. Fucking, I'm <laughs> Anyways, not, 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 not on our channel. All right, <laughs> not on our channel. <laughs> That's all time here for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh yeah.